Hello everyone and welcome to EG Jewel Lapidary. My name is Eli Ghanim. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about how you can make a perfect round cabo shell. Uh, so stick around and I'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back and uh, uh, few months ago uh, some people were talking about uh, they can't make a round uh, copy shown because it doesn't come out perfectly round and they're scared of doing it so they don't do it well there is a very simple way of actually um, eliminating this problem and creating the best uh, uh, copy round copy shown. So I'm going to show you that uh, this video is going to be very short, but it's going to get to the point and you'll be happy that you learned how to do it. Now, the biggest thing uh, in order to uh, get a perfect one is to use a drill. And uh, by using a drill, you could actually put your cabochon there and I'm going to show you how you can use it. Now, before we do that, uh, here is a, a round one that is uh, already uh, glued onto that pin, which is steel. And the reason I did that is because with the pin, uh, I know it's straight. So when I put it on a uh, in the drill, I know it's going to be turning round perfectly round. Here it is, and when I when I turn this one here, it will turn actually uh, quite straight, and it's not gonna wobble, and that's the whole idea. So I don't want it to wobble in my hand. If you want to use a dowel, like a wooden dowel or anything, try to put it on a drill, turn it around, make sure that it's not wobbling, okay, and then you go ahead and you do it now. With this one here, what I did is I marked the round shape uh, on a cab. Uh, I cut it uh, on the trim saw and I still see the marks over here. Uh, so then I, when, when you glue it, you have to be dead on center. But most of the time you won't be able to get it exactly. And that's why you leave extra material on the outside and then you do that uh, and you fit it in. You could also, if you want it exactly the size, you could use also the vernier. You can check the, your diameter all the time. If not, you just go in, make sure it's, it's rounded properly and then you go ahead from there. But uh, for the vernier, uh, I have another video where you can actually watch how to use them and I think it, it's very simple. So. I'm not going to use the vernier this time, I'm just going to turn it and as long as it's round and I like it, uh, I'm going to leave it at that and I'm just going to finish it. So how to do that, uh, now this is tight, the, the, this drill has a forward and reverse into it. So use the one that you like with the wheel going, so if my wheel is going forward uh, towards me or coming down towards me um, I can go with it or I can reverse the wheel and I'm going to be going the other way so it's up to you and depends how how it goes just make sure that you're doing it right so let me let me start doing this one here I'm going to start the machine and
as you can see here, you can see that the uh, side completely done, rounded off nicely. So let me show you that. I don't need the drill anymore, but here we are. If you look at this one here, you could see that the line or the circle that I did initially is actually a little bit off. So we know that when you glue it in, uh, it's gonna, it's not gonna be perfect in the center from the back. So you have to allow extra material on the outside of your cab in order to get it to the right size. Again, like I said before, you could measure it to make sure that this is the right diameter, but this is the fastest way that you could do. When you grind the side, make sure you have the angle on the side, something like between 10 degrees and, and 10 to 13 degrees. And the reason for that, like I mentioned before, is when you get your bezel, you have something to hold down on, which is the side. Okay, so your bezel will be holding the cab down in in the proper place. So uh, this is as simple as it gets. Now I'm going to finish this one here, and once uh, I finish it, uh, I'm going to put a picture at the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and if you're watching and you like this, just hit the button below that says subscribe and click the like button. Thank you and we'll see you again next time.